Hello students. In this video, the topic of our discussion is ionization energy and electron affinity. So let's start with ionization energy. Ionization energy, it is the minimum amount of energy which is required to remove an electron from the outermost orbital of an atom in its gaseous isolated state. I repeat the definition that it is the minimum amount of energy which is required to remove an electron from the outermost orbital of an atom in its isolated gaseous state. But the question arises, why the ionization energy it is measured by taking the atom in the isolated state? The reason is, whenever the atom is in the isolated state, its electronic cloud it is not being disturbed by the neighboring atoms or molecules. In this way, we can measure the force of attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electron in the form of ionization energy. So basically, it gives us the correct value. So let's see what are the factors that affect ionization energy. The factors affecting its value are atomic size, that what is the atomic radii, the nuclear charge, the shielding effect, and the penetration effect. These points are elaborated in the next slides. But first, let's see the general trend of ionization energy in the periodic table. Basically, it increases along the period that is from left to right and decreases down the group that is from top to bottom. In a period, there is an increase in the nuclear charge, so automatically, the atomic size is already high decreasing, and there is no change in the shielding effect. The modern periodic table, the elements are arranged in according to their increasing atomic numbers. Now, students, you know that atomic numbers, they are the number of protons or the number of electrons in an atom. As we move along the period, the number of protons and the electrons, they are increasing, so the nuclear charges are increasing, and the size of the atom is decreasing. So the removal of electron, it becomes difficult from the outermost orbital of the atom. That is why the general trend along the period is that ionization energy value, it increases. On the contrary, in a group, there is an increasing size of the atom because the number of shells are increasing as we move down the group. Shielding effect, it's also increasing. So the removal of electron, it becomes easier as we move down the group. So automatically, the ionization energy, it decreases as we move down the group, that is from top to bottom. Now let's see how does the nature of orbital shape influence the ionization energy. The outermost electron to be removed, it may be in S orbital, P, D or F orbitals. Now students, you must know that S orbital is most penetrating and F is the least. So the removal from S is most difficult and the easiest is from F orbital. Now let's see what penetration effect is. Penetration, it describes the proximity of electrons in an orbital to the nucleus. How near the electrons are present to the nucleus. The general trend of the orbitals is their penetration is that S has the most penetration, P lesser than S, D even lesser, and F the least. Electrons which experience greater penetration experience less shielding, and therefore they experience a large effective nuclear charge, Z effective, but shields other electrons very effectively. Now students, what is Z effective? It is nuclear, it is effective nuclear charge and it is the net positive charge experienced by an electron in a polyelectronic atom. That polyelectronic atom, it has a number of electrons. So again, effective nuclear charge, it is the real charge which is experienced by an electron. So in short, penetration is basically how well the electron feel the nucleus. The core electrons, they have more penetration then the outer electrons since they feel the strongest pull. So again, it is in the descending order. S is greater than P, is greater than D, and is greater than F. Now there are some deviation of ionization energy from the general trend. Students, the elements of group 3A, they have less ionization energy than 2A. Although the trend along the period is that the ionization energy, 
it increases along the period. But 3A, it has less ionization energy than group 2A. The reason is that when we shift from group 2A to 3A, the nature of orbital changes from S to P. P orbital, it is less penetrating as I described earlier. So electron removal from P orbital to group 3A is easier. Similarly, group 6A, it has less ionization energy than 5A. What is the reason? When we move from 5A to 6A, we move from half-filled P subshell of 5A to unstable P subshell of 6A. Students keep it in mind that half-filled orbitals and full-filled orbitals, they are very stable orbitals. Half-filled subshell is extra stable, so the electron removal from 6A is easier. So it has less ionization energy. Now let's discuss something about shielding effect. As you can see on the screen that reduction of effective nuclear charge on an electron is the shielding effect because of inner electron, they repel outer electron and protects nucleus. You can say that there is a decrease in attraction between an electron and the nucleus in any atom with more than one electron shell. The more the electron shells there are, the greater the shielding effect experienced by the outermost electrons. Or when inner electrons, they repel outer electrons, they protect the nucleus and they shield the outer electrons. As you can see, these are the inner electrons and these are the outer electrons. The outer electrons, they are attracted towards the nucleus, but at the same time, they are repelled by the inner electrons. This repulsion, it decreases the attraction of the nucleus and thus causing shielding. So this is what we call the shielding effect. I hope the shielding effect is clear to you people now. Now let's discuss something about electron affinity. Electron affinity, it is the energy released or absorbed when an electron is added to a valence shell of an isolated gaseous atom to form a negative ion. For example, fluorine, it is the first element of the halogen group, that is the 7A group. It is highly electronegative and when it gains electron, it forms F negative ion. And electron affinity, it is minus 337 kilojoules per mole. That is energy is being released. Now the question is why most of the elements release energies when electrons are added in their outermost orbital? In most of the elements the outermost orbital is in the process of completion in this way. They have demand of electrons and feel happier in having the electrons. So they accept the electron and get stability and energy is released. Now, the question arises that why the second value of electron affinity of an element is shown with a positive sign. Usually, the electronegative elements, they release energy when first electron is added into them. But when a second electron is added in a uninegative ion, the incoming electron, it is repelled by the already present negative ion. In order to overcome the repulsion, energy is absorbed during the process. Thus, the formation of a dinegative ion, it is an endothermic process. The endothermic process, it is the absorption of energy. And the exo, it is the release of energy. So, the electron affinity, it is in the positive sign. As you can see in this reaction, when oxygen, it gains one electron, electron affinity is minus 141. But when O negative ion, anion, it gains another electron, the second value of electron affinity, it is 780 kilojoules per mole, but it has positive sign. So that is why the second value of ionization, it is with a positive sign because it is an endothermic reaction. Now the question is, electron affinity of group 2A is lesser than group 1A. Why? 
the elements of group 2a they have uh, they have fulfilled s orbital and the in incoming electron has to be accommodated in the next higher p subshell so energy has to be provided to give them the electron for this reason their electron affinities are less than those of group 1a i hope this video is helpful in getting the concept clear if you like this video please like comment share and subscribe Thanks for watching. Wish you all the best.